When I sit down with my patients and I talk about hysterectomy, I think this is a very serious conversation to have with the patient. When we look at all our options, patients have the ability to choose between medical and surgical treatments. I always review this with patients. As you may know, hysterectomy is something is final. There are different indications for having a hysterectomy. For example, this might include heavy bleeding, pelvic pain, uterine organ prolapse in which the sensation of something is falling uh, is, is had by the patient, uh, pre-cervical cancer cells in the cervix, pre-cancer cells in the uterus, or even ovarian cancer. These are just some examples of why a woman might choose to have a hysterectomy.